Are we going to hit start? Hello, folks. Welcome Hello. to Running Into Wellness. Once hey. again, hit start, we go. Yeah. Um, Lydia and Finn, as per usual. And today we have my favorite brain in nutrition in the world, <laughs> Dr. Robert Verger. <laughs> Pleasure low, to be here. Low carb, high fat. Shoot! We've got five minutes, by the way. We're doing this. We, ch we challenged Robert to a five minute like treatise on the, uh, the, the, the relative virtues of low carb high fat and the stupid ridiculous stuff about the dangers of it i'm just going to stop talking go so we we we've talked for an hour here at the rds about it and we just basically got started but look in five minutes what can we say mm. um lancet public health definitely they have it wrong you see when you look at a retrospective study you are not looking at anyone who really understands a proper low carb mm. high fat diet so you're looking at populations who happen to be low carb mm. and they're eating the worst kind of proteins the worst kind of fats they just happen to be eating a small amount of carbs so they're essentially mm. junk food eaters yeah and um so and of course when you do a meta-analysis you then look at a global population and what they've actually done in this study is the two sides of the U, the people who are being harmed by super low carb, and the people being harmed by super high carb, are two completely separate populations. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things in science you never do is mix your apples and your, your pears. Yeah, yeah, Or yeah, even yeah. your oranges. Yeah. <laughs> and, and these guys have done this. Oranges one side, apples on the other. You know, what are the, the two sugar. populations they mix? So, so the, the uh, high carb populations yeah. are Asian populations yeah. eating vast amounts of, of, of rice. And genetically you see, built for us. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, but, but, but no. At the very extreme end, mm. they're getting harmed, of course, because they're not getting enough protein. They're not getting enough fats. They're, they're, not, they're certainly not getting enough phytonutrients. Mm. At the low end, the super low end. So they say, hey guys, there's this sweet spot, which happens to be exactly what the government nutritional guidelines that are killing the rest of us in the West. Oh, magic! Yeah. <laughs> well, look, they've got it solved. So, so it's, <laughs> it's it is a junk study because yeah. you, you just shove it all together. And it basically says what they wanted it to say, so all the governments in the West can carry on mm -hmm. with the big food industry doing what it's doing. Mm -hmm. um, so American Heart Association study from last year. Yeah, I that's mean, that's kind of another one, another nail in the coffin of ridiculousness about low fat, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, look, it, it's 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 all. I mean, cer certainly in terms of low fat, it, it is all over. Yeah. Um, they will carry on picking out specific studies to justify the endpoint, but. You know, the biggest thing that's happening now is the fact that people are going out there and doing different things. And there isn't a study other than if you look at, say, the Verta Health study that was published in Diabetes Therapy this year, um, that shows that, you know, if you go on a well controlled um, carbohydrate, low carbohydrate diet, you get amazing results. In fact, the Verta Health study shows that you get an even better result 60% remission type 2 diabetes. Wow. Um, which is better than the direct study, the study that was published in the in the Lancet, wow. um, also this year. What what length of time is that intervention? Twelve months. So so wow. over over twelve months, um, you're getting sixty percent remission. So from a a, a you know a decision making clinical decision making point of view, the very fact that doctors are still out there prescribing metformin mm. when they know that there is a method, but the problem is there's no special no drugs involved mm -hmm. yeah. yes in the case of you know Holberg Verlick and Finney who, who did the um, the, the uh, Verta study there is the the Verta system which yeah. is actually a fantastic system problem is for a lot of people it costs a lot of money you got to okay. go to the website go yes. to Verta Health and you'll see it's expensive but so lifestyle medicine are big pharma quaking in their boots so they see lifestyle medicine yeah, take which, over which, and what are they doing about it like, well, other than they're, these little random sh study that, 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 that's that's what they're doing but, wow. but you know we've seen this happen in many other areas of nutrition in time the science is so robust and when you have a grassroots coming through which is what banting was all about in south africa mm -hmm. it's happening now here in europe it's certainly happened in america and um, and everyone is learning as they go along and and the bottom line is it it won't be a magic solution so when people say low carb what do you mean do you mean 25 percent energy um, from carbs or less or 40 mm -hmm. percent you know in in the pure study it yeah. was less than 40 percent yeah, yeah, um, yeah you know uh, in in uh, lance public health it's also less than 40 percent which you know if you want to get into nutritional ketosis it's it's a hard job unless you exercise like a freak yes. you know which most people don't do yeah um, so the the amount of physical activity you do in conjunction 
with that carb intake. But mm -hmm. one of the things we're really interested in is, is looking at what's happening to the plant side of things. Mm -hmm. People are learning how to start to use healthy oils. Obviously, if you look at it globally, it's a pretty complex picture because you can't come over to Southeast Asia as we're going to be doing in November and say, yeah. guys, eat olive oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mediterranean diet, it. it's for yeah. you guys too. Yeah. They've got all their rainforests <laughs> have been taken down and it's full of palm oil. Wow, well, um, yes. So, so um, and of course, um, because of the pressure from palm oil, despite the fact that most of the world's palm oil is produced in Indonesia and the Philippines next door, wow. it's quite difficult to get a, a lot, lot of coconut. Back. Yeah, that's so really you've got interesting. all these political problems going on. Right. Um, but you know, the 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 because we've got to look at the time. <laughs> we've gone over we've already. Gone over. Oh, um, but the surprised. real point I want to make is you yeah. can do low carb, high cap, mm. high high fat yeah. using diverse phytonutrients. And um, yeah. you know, one of the misunderstandings is is recognizing the amount of fiber, indigestible carb, in your vegetables, mm -hmm. as long as they're above ground vegetables. As soon as you go underground you're dealing with starchy storage yeah. organs that yeah. are, you know and I know we're in Ireland and yeah. we, we like our storage organs we like we like <laughs> <laughs> but go above ground because yeah. um, it's it's not stored there so yes. much um, and of course the fiber is critical and yeah. you know you look at the two principal things that the gut microbiota want you want a healthy gut mm -hmm. you need fiber mm -hmm. and you need polyphenols yeah you don't get those in any decent quality from anything other than plants yeah so um, and you can easily get those ratios. Um, I also think it's really important that people measure their own, you know, ketone levels. Get a start. Start to be aware meter, of these things. Yeah, mm. because it's different for for different people. Mm. Is it easy um, to measure? It is really just just a a blood Perfect. spot. You yeah. know, same as a blood glucose. You you now get. Um, are we allowed to mention trade names? But yeah, you know, the, the meter I use is a is an Abbott Freestyle cool. Optium Neo. So the well, Neo is Neo, Neo is the ketone sticks. Um, you can pee. On a on a on a keto sticks mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. um, but first morning urine is really the only kind of reasonable result you you, you get from that. Yeah, um, it's so obviously easier, but blood is the most accurate, and you can also get the ketonics acetone okay. breath measurement from yeah. Sweden. Um, so become self-aware. Somewhere in the middle, like, but yeah, like you've got like what four trips to the doctor is going to cost you more than that keto yeah. and blood blood, blood yeah. glucose monitor. Sure. And four trips to the doctor is what a lot less than what a lot of people are taking in the year, particularly with the family full uh, of absolutely. Calls, and, and calls, actually, our A and H um, food for health plate mm -hmm. around a physically active lifestyle actually allows you to do it. That's how I do it. Um, and uh, you get more than enough plant food into it. So th there's a bit of a push at the moment for um, carnivorous diets. Yes. Um, a lot of people get a lot of initial benefit, a lot of benefit. So that's why people are talking about it a lot. And is that um, because the storage molecules are gone from like the, those? It's, it's because you're taking for a lot of people, so many people are so far down the autoimmune pathway. Mm -hmm. There is an enormous amount of biochemical noise mm -hmm. coming when you take plants into your system. Mm -hmm. So you take that noise out of the system for someone who's already going down an autoimmune route um, and you know the mucosa is screwed up, people eating too late, you don't allow your favorite gut bacteria, Akkermansia, okay. do its thing overnight and give it 14 hours to clean up that gut mucosal surface mm -hmm. so it can be responsive the next day when you start eating. That's a big problem. People are getting a lot of people are going down says eating in the middle of the night for yeah. goodness sake. And they're eating I don't know any of those night. people. <laughs> so, um, nope. So no chocolate and peanut butter yeah. in the middle of the night? No. <laughs> Acromancia gets stops working Nailed. when you do that. That's really interesting. And what yeah. time is it active? What time is Acromancia? Yes. Acromancia needs needs you to be asleep, um, with no food in the system. So you know, the classic three hour interval mm. before you go to bed from bed. your last meal. Yeah. Um, is and then a you know a and is, seven is, hours sleep. That's that, when it does the clean up operation. Is okay. that before yeah. eating before seven important, or is it um, just the three hour window? You want a three hour window is really the most important thing. Okay. It's very different if you're an early bird or a late owl, um, yeah. so you can move that around what you're. But um, okay. But time's up, guys. It Fundamentals. Is, it is. I have a plane to catch. Oh my